Guys and girls and everyone, Pop OS. What are we doing today? We're installing Pop OS on this gaming machine. Now the gaming machine, I got it for nothing. It's an older one, it's uh, i7, i9. I threw a ton of memory into it. I think it's got about 30 gig of memory now. And I was stuffing around with it and I tried to run Ventoy on it and Ventoy wouldn't work on it. So I just put a um, Pop OS. I did have Windows setting up for it. I did set up another Windows operating system, but I want to try Pop OS today. This computer at the moment, if you can hear in the background, you can hear my inverters running. Now it's full sunlight out there guys. We're getting full power. Now I'm having a little bit of a problem with it but I'm thinking I'm going to have to top balance my batteries and get into that pretty soon. But what we're going to do right now is I got a free small SSD hanging around. Um, everything was free. If you got it for free you might as well install it. Hey, so we're just going to install Pop OS. Now what is Pop OS? Well, Pop O, um, hold on, go back. I'm in Australia. Oh, 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 oh. What is it, the, never mind. Um, yeah, so Pop OS. Oh, I don't want to speak default language. That's a bit sad that it doesn't just grab me as English and uses English, um, straight English. Working English. What's working English? Uh, European, no. How about English English, guys? How about normal English? Oh, God. Uh, if you're gonna write default is English, please write it. Install. It's a clean install, guys. It's gonna go on to this hard drive here, which is the one we've got. And that's what we're going to do. And it asks you to do that. I do like that. Okay, and then I'll pop a name and a username. And we might call this my grandson's name. We'll call it. That's probably right. Maybe put a capital letter into that. This is the Reese computer. All right. Grabbing the wrong mouse down there, got two minutes. Okay, and we'll pop a simple password in there and we'll be back. One thing I have noticed, and I know this is a educational software and that's why I'm making it up for my grandchild, hiding it as a gaming computer. Yes, guys, this is how you get your grandchildren to actually play the game. Restart device, sounds good. Let's do that. See what we get. That one beep. Well, that tells you the post is good. Any more beeps, and it's not good at all. Hope you guys are seeing this. It's very, very big. That TV set is on my wall in my messy junk workshop. A uh, lot of crap. A lot of work to be done to clean up. And hey. I just don't think I'm going to do it, <laughs> but I'm going to do it because OCD, people watch me. The OCD must be going off the scale, guys. I'm sorry. I really am. Oh, it's come up. That was very, very quick. All right. So from here, we're going to install our, um, we're going to install Steam. First thing I'm going to say is it looks really sad like that. I think this looks better for the Pop OS people. I think it's a standard at the moment. It's the old, um, well, the Amiga had a standard like this and so did uh, the uh, Max. So let's have a look. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. And, oh look, it's got gestures. And I love it. Appearance. Well, we're going to go dark mode because that's in at the moment. Pretty dark. 
And we're going to hook up to... What have we got? We have heaps of stuff. Okay, we can only see one network, which is a problem because I thought that that card that I've got in the back is actually better than that. So anyway, we'll start off with a old one and see if we can find the card. So we're back, we've got that hooked up there. We're going to privacies. Do you want the location services on? I don't think so. Don't think we need it. We'll tell us tell us we're near. We're down here somewhere. We're in Melbourne. Of course we are. Uh, ooh, look at this. Connect your online accounts. Uh, we might skip online accounts. I've got a next cloud up the house. But no, we're not going to do that. We're going to skip that. Start using Pop OS. Now we come down here and we get the terminal. Because Pop OS is similar to Debian or Ubuntu or all those other things. And this is what we start out with. And now I need to install Steam. Okay, there's two ways of installing Steam. One of them is through the through our um, terminal. We can just do sudo app. You don't need get anymore. Install Steam. Down here, if I can get to the mouse and I'll stop using the wrong mouse and throw that away soon. We can go down here and we can do a update first. We update the system. Oh, I like the colors on this. It's very, very cool. Very, very appealing. Whoever did it, thank you very much. You've done a wonderful job. Okay. Um, and then we can just go steam in there and um, see what we get. So. Okay, with my dyslexia, I put an R in Steam, and that was a mistake. So here's Steam here. Uh, you got Steam Deck Retro Manager, whatever that is. I don't know how much this I'm going to need, but this is the easiest way to do it. The other way is to do it through the CLI, which I ain't going to do today. Now, if you do need to do it, there is good documentation online that will show you that. And you will need to install Python and you will need to install, um, what else do you need to install? You need to install, I think it's Pros, Proton something or other. Anyway, we're gonna get this and we're gonna install Steam Installer. Well, that sounds like fun. We need that. Um, and then I just have to put in that and away it will go. Okay, so I've picked a heap of stuff. Is that a development setup for gaming? Oh yeah. So I've picked a, while it's doing that, let's have a quick look at what we can find on the launcher. Uh, it has a search function, which I like. Uh, we're not gonna, we'll drop that down. Uh, we're not gonna worry about that because I spelt it wrong. And yeah, we'll leave that alone. Uh, we're going to make it easy for people. So this is the apps. So this is your app store, I suppose. It's not the same as Windows. You don't have a start bar. You could probably put a start bar in this quite easily. Steam's already installed. Loving it. Um, office stuff. You've got an Office, LibreOffice. Good programming setup. You've got a system setup. Uh, password keys, what else has got? Utilities, this is what we want to have a look at. What have we got in the utilities? So I would have thought that if you're going to install stuff on your utilities, I would want a lot more stuff than that. So, you know, like I would want a um, something for playing around with, so 
you want uh, Arduino. Let's see what we get. So there, you've got the Arduino IDE, and you've got other plugins like what is Cow Plugin Package? No idea. Anyway, give me some ideas to get a kid to really want to. This is for my grandchild. Really want to play with a computer nowadays, and not just to sit on it and play computer games, but to actually get off their bum and do stuff. I, I still want him to get out and do stuff, but he's got some limitations. So anyone that can help me would be great. Please leave a comment below for great kid um, kid type uh, stuff to do on a computer on Pop OS, of course. Okay, so I've got 24 gig of memory. The processor is a bit old now. It is a uh, i7. It mentions a lot about uh, Xenon i7. Anyone know about that? Um, yeah, so it's actually running very slowly at the moment, but yeah, everything works fine. So it's pretty good considering. The only problem is this window is not resizing very well. Oh, it is now. And uh, catch you on the next one.